everyone, welcome to Matt's Lockpit. So it's about five past six in the morning here in Britain. So let's get that to focus for you. There you go, August, Sunday the 19th, 6.06. And uh, seeing as it's Sunday morning, I thought I'd give uh, Albert LaBelle Stock Lock Sunday a little crack. The cylinder I've chose for this is this Maxus rim cylinder. Quite a cool keyway on it. Looks to be a six pinner. And um, focus. There we go, it looks to be a six pinner. This was sent to me by Mr. Gordon W, which is very much appreciated. Get this out of the vice a second. Very much appreciated. He sent it to me because he knows that I like the Maxus Euro cylinders. I've picked a good few of the Maxus Euro cylinders now, but this is my first Maxus rim cylinder, so I'm very grateful for it. So thank you very much, Gordon, my friend. And um, yeah, I quite like the Euro cylinders. They've uh, got a right mixed bag of uh, security pins in them. So I'm hoping this is going to be the same. I'm hoping it's not going to take too long to get into. As I said, I haven't picked it before. I think it's sat on my shelf since I've had it in the package. Trying to decide whether to turn it into a challenge lock or not. A little bit thin. Um, but I actually quite like the cylinder for some reason, so that's why I haven't done yet. Like a glove for the heavy bar. And um, I think we'll start off with an Attila. See how that goes. Go straight to the back. Little click of six to start with. Nice. Nothing of five, nothing of four. Maybe set two, I'm not sure. Little click off one and a tiny bit of core movement. Cool. Back to the back again. Click off six again. Click off five and a bit more core rotation. Not a bad full set. Deeper full set off four there. Counter rotation off three. Two solid. One feels good. Let's go to the back. Six is solid. Five is solid. Four is solid. Bit of counter off three. Doesn't want to do anything though, so I'm not going to force it. Let's see if we can find someone else. Two solid. And one solid. Six. Five. Slipped into a slight deeper full set there. Four. Still on four, getting a bit of counter. Doesn't want to go. Three, two, one. Counter off five. Going to switch to slightly thinner pick here, guys. Going to drop down to a 20,000 short hook. See if that does anything. Six. Feels good. Five feels good. Four feels good. Ooh. Bit of a full set of four again. Three good. Two good. One good. What are we being held up on here, guys? I'm not too sure. I'm not sure if we just. There we go. Awesome. Took a little bit longer than I intended. But as I said, some of the Euro cylinders have some funky pins in. As you can see, that's wild and truly open. So I'm quite looking forward to seeing what's in this. I'll stick it down there. Get that out of the way. Get the pin and tray out. So we got tweezers, we got a shim, and we got a follower, and um, what do we need to open this uh, clip? Cool, hopefully the circlip clip players will do. Yep. Get the shim in. Thank you very much for this lot, Gordon. That was very fun. 
Um, if I do turn it into a challenge lock, I probably will put it back together first and um, pick it a few more times. And um, thank you, Albert Labelle, for pick uh, for the opportunity to pick a stock lock. Although I don't need an excuse to pick a stock lock, as you're all aware, I do quite like a good stock lock. Right, as you can see, everything needed to be picked. Number one, two, a bit of an overset trap. Got a bit of wear to this core, which is surprising because it worked really smooth and it looked brand new. But what I'm going to do is stick this core in my new core holder, which I had off Foxy today, well, rather yesterday. And that way, it'll stop them from falling over. I don't know whether any of you saw it the other day, but my actual my core fell off my pinning tray, and um, yeah, it was almost a disaster. It wasn't too bad, thank God. But so let's see what we got here then. Right, so pin one, we have a standard steel driver by the looks of it. Cool. Move our back there. Number two, we have a spool. Hopefully I can get that to focus for you. There we go. Spool in two. Number three, another spool. Doesn't matter if that doesn't show up, it's exactly the same as the other spool. So, number four, let's have a look here. Standard. Number five. Oh, nice. We've got a barrel or a double serration, whatever you'd like to call it. Give me a second guys, see if I can get that to focus, there we go, there we go, nice little barrel serration thing, that's what I mean about these Maxus, you do get a mixed bag of the security pins, which is nice to see, and number six, last but not least, got another one of these barrels, cool. So these pins aren't uh, pins springs on on what I was expecting to see. These aren't the same as what they have in the Euro cylinders. You've normally got the like sort of um, anti bump springs in the Euro cylinders. You know the double sort of springs. But with this, you've got some quite fat steel springs, which is quite cool. Flying out there. Bang all these out quickly. Trying to be as quick as I can because I want a cup of tea and I want to get to bed. As I said, it's gone 6 o'clock in the morning here in Britain. But I do like to have a little pick before I go to bed to relax myself, help me sleep. There we go, that's the springs out. Let's have a little quick look at this Bible. All looks standard like you'd expect from stock lock. Very cool. So let's have a look at these key pins. So we've got unusual wear on this core. Got lines from where it's been catching. So I'm unsure why, because it was smooth. So let's have a look what we got here. Number one. Whoa. Let's have a quick look at that. Looks like we've got a reduced diameter on the bottom of this one, guys. Hopefully I can get that to focus for you. There we go. Hope that's showing up on camera. you got a nice reduced diameter, like a little ledge on it. Very cool. Let's have a look, see if we've got any more. See if that's just an accident or whether it's supposed to be there. Number two. Oh, we've got a little wafer. 
cool. And number two. Oh, cool. Same again. Reduced diameter on the bottom of the pin. Wasn't expecting that. You don't get those in the Euros. Hopefully that'll show up for you. Nice little ledge on it. That's quite cool. It's nice to have a stock lock that's got security key pins. Don't come across that many really. Number three. Let's see what we got here. Looks like another reduced diameter. I'll come down and zoom in in a second. Number four. Got another little wafer and a standard key pin this time. Number five, another reduced diameter. And number six, another reduced diameter. Cool. Let me show you this pin in a second. Hopefully I can get that to focus for you. There we go, got quite a nice little ledge, definitely a reduced diameter at the bottom of these pins. Very cool to see. Right, I'll tidy these up real quick and then, um, yeah, I'll show you them quick. As I said, I do want a quick video. Missing the spring. Where did I put the key? Put the key there so you can see the key. As it says, quite a funky key on it. Oh, cool. Let's have a look here. Try to focus a bit better. So as you can see for the key pins, we've got these reduced diameters in number one, two, three, five, and six. And for the drivers, we've got a standard steel in one, a spool in two, a spool in three, a standard in four, nice little double serrated barrel thing in five, and the same in six. And all the springs are the same as you'd expect. There's the key, and there's the body. So that was a Maxus rim cylinder, guys. Thank you very much, Gordon. That was a very fun pick, my friend. Very considerate of you to send me it. And, um, yeah, happy Stock Lock Sunday, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.